hello engineers welcome to engineer brandon's tools in this video we are going to build a light sensor using an arduino so in this project we will need an arduino uno we will need a light emitting diode some resistors a liquid crystal display lcd in order to display our simulation results we will equally need a light dependent resistor so when light shines on a light dependent resistor it causes the electrons to move faster hence reducing its resistance so when we will make the light to shine on the light dependent resistor it's going to cause the electrons in the light dependent resistor to move hence we are going to connect the light dependent resistor to the analog pin a0 of the microcontroller and it's going to read the value so the higher the light intensity on the light dependent resistor the lower the resistance Hence, the light emitting diode is not going to shine, but the lower the light intensity on the light dependent resistor, the higher the resistance, hence the light emitting diode is going to shine and all these results is going to be displayed on the LCD. So we're going to write the code on the Arduino IDE. So we're going to open our Arduino IDE and we're going to write our code here. So let me increase the size. The font size control plus so i'm going to wipe this so we're going to include our liquid crystal libraries so i should include liquid crystal dot h to include our liquid crystal libraries so we're going to configure the pins between the liquid crystal display and the arduino so to do this we're gonna type in this command so we have the register select pin 7 we have the enable pin 6 we have d4 pin 5 d5 d6 and d7 so this is what i mean so we have lcd we have register select enable d4 d5 d6 and d7 this is a comment so we're going to declare our input output pins so our output pin which will be the led pin we're going to connect it on pin 13 as you see on the schematic our led pin is on pin 13 and we're equally going to connect our light dependent resistor pin on analog pin 0 as you can see so a0 and we're going to go to our setup function so you remember the setup is for the setup configuration so we have lcd.begin so we have we are using a 2 by 16 lcd so it has two rows and 16 columns so we're going to clear the lcd because initially the lcd might want to display any kind of thing there so we're going to set the cursor row zero column two we're going to print a message Going to print the message light sensor i'm going to delay for a period of two seconds i'm going to clear the lcd so we're going to give the mode of our pins that is the mode of our input and output pins so we're going to say pin mode for the output pin which is led pin we're going to say led pin is an output pin and equally we're going to say pin mode for the input pin which is our light dependent resistor pin we're going to set it as input so that is all about our setup so we're going to write our code in our loop function so we're going to write void loop 
so we're going to define a value that is going to read the input from pin a0 and store it so we're going to call it ldr status and we're going to declare it as an integer so we're going to say int ldr status equals analog read so it's going to read the analog pin so it's going to read the analog pin pin a0 which is our ldr pin and it's going to store it so we're going to say if ldr status oh sorry status if ldr status is less than or equal to 110 so in this case we're going to turn on our light emitting diode our led so digital right let pin high so whenever the status of our light dependent resistor is less than or equals to 110 we're going to send a high value to our led pin that's we're going to turn our led on that's we're going to turn our led on and equally we're going to display a message on the lcd that is the liquid crystal display we're going to set the cursor so we're going to set it to position zero zero and we're going to print a message So it's dark, we're gonna write it's dark and let on. So that is the message we're going to print on the LCD. And that's not all, we're also going to print the intensity of the light on the LCD. So we're gonna set the cursor, we're gonna set it to column 0, row 1, and we're gonna print the message. intensity for the light intensity we're going to set the cursor so i'm just going to copy this and paste so i'll paste this one down so i'll change this position position 11 one that is column 11 row one and we're going to print the status LDR status so that is the light intensity and we're gonna move out of the if statement now if the light intensity is not less than or equals to 110 that is if it is greater than 110 so we're gonna write else if it is greater than 110 we should turn off the light emitting diode so we're going to write digital right light pin we should set it to low and equally we're going to print a message to the lcd so we set the cursor set the position zero zero and we print in the message let off so we're going to print that message let off and we're going to set the cursor again and print the intensity of the light that's the light intensity so we can simply copy this and paste it here since it's going to perform the same task so we copy that we paste it here So that is all about our code. So we will build our code and save it. So you choose a folder where you want to save your code. So it's building the code, it's compiling the code. So our code has been built success successfully. So remember, in order to load the code into the microcontroller, 
you need to generate the hex file so here is a folder where I save the code but there is no hex file so I'm going to generate the hex file so to do that I'll go to sketch export compile binary okay so hex file is generated so if we open the folder we're going to see the hex file so we're going to load the hex file so we right click on the Arduino edit properties then we go to program files so light sensor so here is it click on ok so we will run our simulation so that is the first message that was displayed so we notice that our light intensity is very low so the resistance of the light dependent resistor is very high so only a small amount of voltage was being able to be sent to the analog pin so since a small value was sent to the analog pin it reads it as a very low value and hence from the code it's going to turn on our light emitting diode and it's going to display all those messages and their intensity on the liquid crystal display so if i increase the light intensity i'm going to observe some changes so I notice that as I increase the light intensity, it equally increases here. Then remember from our code, we said if light intensity is less than or equals to 110, then we should turn on the LED. But else, meaning if it is greater than 110, we should turn off the LED. So here we notice it is greater than 110, which is 113. That is why our LED is being turned off. So if we increase the light intensity, we're going to see that our LED will remain in the off state. We can equally change our threshold value. So if I change the threshold value from the code, if I change the value and put, let's say, 300. So if I put a value, let's say 300, let me stop the simulation. So if I put a value, let's say 300, means whenever the light intensity is less than or equal to 300, the LED is going to turn on but whenever the light emitting I mean the light intensity is greater than 300 the LED is going to turn off so let me compile the code so let me run the simulation once more So let me run my simulation. So I notice that the light intensity is very low. So this implies the light emitting diode is on. So if I increase my light intensity, I'll notice that it's going to change on the LCD. So I notice that at 113, it has not the LED has not more gone off. The LED will go off if and only if the light intensity goes beyond 300. So let me add the intensity. I see 225, it remains on. So if I add again, so I notice that intensity has gone to 338. Light emitting diode has gone off. So thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.